Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is Sunday night and I am Danny Williamson. And if it is Sunday night, that means it is Sunday night service. So as soon as you get on here, hit your heart buttons, hit your like buttons. Tell me where you're from. I'm trying all kinds of new things tonight and I hope it's working. So I need to know if you guys are on here uh, for sure. Okay. All right. We are talking all things immune system tonight. Everything to do with your immune system, common sense, practical ways to build up your immune system. What are you doing to build your immune system up? That's what I want to know. Share in your comment, share in the comments down below and uh, tell us what you're doing. What are you doing to build up your immune system? OK, I will take that little scroller off of there at some point. I'm playing around with a split screen and all kinds of things. So I hope it goes well tonight. Anyway, cheer, whoops, cheers to Sunday night service. It's Sunday night. It's been a heck of a week, hasn't it? It's been a heck of a year. Mm. Boy, it's been a year, hasn't it? Oh, my goodness. When I, as of yesterday, which was August the 8th, 2020, Tennessee, the state of Tennessee currently had 1,167 confirmed cases of COVID-19. We had 119,780. No, I'm sorry. We had 1,167 confirmed deaths. 119,782 confirmed deaths cases. 5,190 people have been hospitalized and 79,357 people have recovered. There have been 1,660,337 people tested in the state of Tennessee. I've not been tested. I had my antibody test, but I haven't had a, a, a rapid test or a, a nasal swab. That Those numbers are in comparison to April the 19th, 2020, when I last did a Sunday night service about COVID-19. In uh, April 20, 19th, we had 148 confirmed cases, 7,070, no, I'm sorry, we had 148 deaths, 7,070 confirmed cases, 724 were hospitalized, and 3,000 and some change had recovered. And there were 97,000 cases statewide as of April 19th. And now we've had, um, or that had been treated as of then. And now we've had 1,660,000 tested since then. Holy cow. Um, that's a whole lot. There's been a lot go on between April and August of 2020 regarding COVID-19, right? Have you been tested Um have you been tested? Let me know. Have you been tested? Have you had a positive test? Um, you know, I would love to know what's what's going on with you. Actually, uh, I, again, my, my antibody test was negative and I have tested. I don't know how many people for antibodies and they've all been negative until about 10 days ago. And then they've started popping positive antibody tests. And so it's been really interesting listening to everybody. Everybody. Um, has had different Kate, different symptoms and things like that. And, and we know that we're not, again, we're not going to discuss all of the, the COVID-19 things tonight. We're going to talk about ways to build your immune system. And I want to know what are you guys doing to build your immune system up? Um, if you did not listen to the Sunday night service in April, go back and find that it's on our YouTube channel, <clears throat> Danny Williamson wellness, go find that. It was really good talking about all about COVID-19, all the history of COVID-19, you know, and, and, and the way it affects your body and things like that. So we're not going to we're not going to get into all that. But unlike the flu, COVID-19 appears to start gradually. OK, starts with fatigue. It gets aches and pains, you know, a sore throat, a mild cough, things like that um, happen. It's it's a little bit different than the flu completely. And there's a phase one and there's a phase two of COVID-19, right? And most people, 80% of the people have phase one, which is those symptoms, you know, the, the fatigue and the joint pain and maybe losing the, the smell and things like that. 20%, we want to stay out of the 20% who get into phase two, which is really getting into all that deep respiratory stuff. All right. Initially, the complaints last about five days and then 
They can last for weeks and months we're seeing after. And here's the thing about COVID-19. We don't know the long-term effects of COVID-19. We don't know what it's doing to people. We don't know. I've got several patients who've had it months ago and they still don't have their taste and smell back. Um, yeah, they sure don't. So, you know, again, we don't know. Uh, what we're going to talk about tonight is building your immune system. All right. Ways to help decrease your chance of you getting COVID-19 or the flu or summer cold or pneumonia or anything. It's not just COVID-19. We want to build our immune system up so that we're strong year round. Build your children's immune system up so that they're strong year round. Hopefully your parents and, and your family members as well. So we can fight off anything that's going to attack it. Okay. That's what we're talking about tonight. So what are the common sense, practical ways that we can begin to move, build our immune system up. Well, it's interesting because everything that I teach on in the office every single day, right? My six steps to healing are exactly what the research shows help build your immune system up. We're not talking supplements yet. We're talking eat well, sleep well, move well, poop well, decrease stress, cultivate community. Those are six common sense ways that we can start to build our immune system up. We start with eat well, right? You all know this. I am a big time fan. Would you look at how gorgeous that pepper is right there? I bought it. Um, where did I get that? Delvin Farms yesterday. Holy cow, the farmer's market. This is one ingredient food right here. This is what I'm talking about. People eat common sense, practical one ingredient food. You just cook up one ingredient. You chop up some carrots or that's a carrot. You know what I'm talking about. Chop up some carrots, olive oil, salt and pepper, put them in the oven, roast them. I mean, it's very, very simple, right? If you're eating packaged, processed, bagged, canned, tubed, fake food, it's killing you. If it's coming out of a box, a bag, a can, I don't have anything packaged in here, but you know what I'm talking about. Just say that's food right there. If it's in a box, a bag, a can, if it could still be here next year when, when we're talking about flu season in 2021 and it hasn't gone bad, then that is fake food. One ingredient food to build your immune system up. We know that your diet is the root of all chronic inflammation or it is the fix for all chronic inflammation. Okay. So we want to make sure that you're eating enough protein. So what would just about half your weight in grams in protein daily. So I'm 130 pounds. I need about 65 grams of protein a day. It's really important to get enough protein in your diet. And, and if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, you can still do that. Beans and nuts and seeds and, you know, a protein shake, things like that. There's lots of ways to get protein, even if you're not eating meat. Uh, cook at home. Those of you all that know me know that I'm a huge proponent of cooking at home. Cooking is self-care. We've been given this great pause right now to be able to realign some things in our life and to reintroduce re, uh, ourselves to the kitchen, right? And like today, I cooked squash. I have squash on the stove. I have okra on the stove. I have green beans and potatoes on the stove. I have a sweet potato in the oven. And that's what I had. And then I had leftover uh, uh, bratwurst that I had, had grilled last night at the cookout. But it was just all one ingredient. Chopped it up, put it together. Cook at home. Decrease the alcohol intake. Okay. So I drink a little alcohol. I drink a little wine. I don't really drink anything else much but wine. A little vodka here and there. But um, I drink some wine probably three days a week. I don't know. Always on Sunday, just because that's how Dr. Motley and I did it. But alcohol increases inflammation in your body and it decreases your immune system. So I'm telling you right now, you need to cut back on the alcohol. If you're one of those day, daytime drinkers, well, that too, probably you need to cut back on the alcohol. If you drink daily, we need to bring it down. Wine does not help you sleep better, people. I can tell you right now, I don't sleep nearly as good when I drink wine. Now, there's nothing but sugar, even though there's no sugar in clean crafted wine, right? Most of your wine has a lot of sugar added to it. This breaks down to sugar, spikes your blood sugar, drops your blood sugar. You're doing just like this all night long. Decrease the wine or the alcohol. Decrease the dairy. 
no dairy whatsoever when we're trying to fight COVID-19, right? Dairy is thick and gunky and mucousy, and it's basically like cow snot over there. So it just gunks up everything here. I do not want any dairy in any of you when we're trying to fight this, for sure. I mean, dairy, dairy is one of the worst things you can do for your sinuses. Think about what it is. It's basically cow snot and cow mucus, and it gunks all this up. I don't want any of that in me during this season when COVID-19 is running wild around here. Okay. Drink tons of hot liquids, right? Hot teas, hot coffee even. I love coffee, organic, you know, clean coffee, but hot teas, hot herbal teas, hot regular teas, hot um, bone broth, right? Heat your bone. You don't have to use brother's bone broth. You can use any bone broth you want that's organic and good and made with good bones and good organic vegetables and things. Drink tons and tons of hot liquids to decrease the mucus secretions, right? COVID-19, basically what happens in a lot of people is you drown to death in all of that mucus. So we want as much hot liquid in there all day long, all right? We want to keep the lungs moving, things like that. Eat well, sleep well. Your body heals when you sleep, right? When you sleep, you can heal. If you sleep well, you're decreasing inflammation, okay? If you don't sleep, you're increasing inflammation. Sleep is anti-inflammatory. It's one of the greatest anti-inflammatory gifts that we can give ourselves, and it doesn't cost anything. Go to sleep, right? Work on your sleep. We talked about melatonin last week with Dr. Lindsay Berkson. If you did not see that video from Sunday Night Service, you need to go to the web page, uh, go to um, uh, YouTube. It is unbelievable on melatonin and how it works as an antioxidant and antiviral, but also, of course, it helps you sleep, right? When you sleep, you decrease inflammation and you decrease oxidative stress in your body, right? Oxidative stress creates liquid or liquid, uh, rusty pipes and things like that. And you build up your immune system. The bed is for sleep and sex only. And if you're not doing one or the other, get out. Don't be on your computer in there. Don't have your electromagnetic fields going in there. Don't have the TV in there. Your cell phone charging beside your bed. A lot of people plug this phone in so they can charge it. And then they, um, you know, even if they put it on airplane mode, if this is charging beside your bed, it's creating electromagnetic fields. Put it on airplane mode, uncharge it. I mean, unplug it and you can put it then because it's not emitting electromagnetic, as many electromagnetic fields. We've got to get your body sleeping at night and we've got to get your bedroom a sanctuary. Okay. Remember a good night. I mean, yes, a good night begins with a good morning. So if you sleep well, if you get up early and if you get your feet outside, feet outside, that, that works too. Get your body outside, get your feet to the earth and your face to the sun. Let the sun start opening up those eyes and creating, you know, um, and decreasing the melatonin in your body. And then as the sun goes down at night, if you can get outside, feet to the earth, face to the sun, face to the sky, those nighttime colors are going to start increasing your melatonin as well as the sun's going down. And by the time I finish this tonight, we will be able to get outside and get some melatonin started. So you got to eat well, sleep well, move well, right? Get up and move. If you, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw last week, Nikki and I started walking at 5 a.m. in the morning ish. And I felt so much better that day when I started walking. Move your body. Your body is designed to be moved. I'm sitting in a chair right here and most people sit all day long. Sitting is the new smoking and it creates systemic inflammation in your body. My friend Derek Myers, who's one of the greatest um, chiropractors out there, says when you stop moving, you stop moving. Simple as that. You don't poop, you don't move, your body locks up. You got to move and we got to sweat. We want to sweat, 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 an infrared sauna, any sauna. I don't care. It doesn't have to be my infrared sauna upstairs or the infrared fancy sauna somewhere. You've got to sweat. This is the largest organ on your body, right? Every, all your toxins come out through your skin. I mean, they come out through the stool and the blood and the bowels and the urine and all that. But this is the largest organ on the body. Sweat it out. You're going to decrease your inflammation, okay? Especially if you get COVID-19, sweat it out. I need you moving, 
one of the worst things you can do if you if you're if you have COVID-19 is to lay down. We've got to breathe. You've got to work these lungs. You've got to move. You've got to get up and move. Eat well, sleep well, move well, poop well. I mean, what do we have to say about that? You got to poop. You got to poop to remove toxins. You've got to poop to decrease inflammation in your body. People say they only poop two or three times a week. Holy crap. Holy crap is right. You are so constipated. It's not even funny. And you're backed up with toxins. So we got to get you pooping, right? Your probiotics, your magnesium, tons and tons of water. I don't know where my water is, but tons and tons of water, right? Hot teas, anything that's going to get you pooping. Eat well, sleep well, move well, poop well, decrease stress. And I'm talking year round, 365 days a year, uh, 24 seven decrease the stress in your body. Okay. In your life, get rid of the soul suckers in your life, change jobs. If you need to, we've been, been given a big pause, a great big pause right now. And, um, take advantage of it, right? Eliminate, automate, and delegate everything you can in your life. Eliminate, everything you can that's not necessary. Automate everything you can, your groceries, your bills, all that. That's what that's talking about. And then um, delegate, delegate. If it's not, if if somebody else can do it, get, let somebody else do it. You do only what you can do. All right. Decrease the stress in your life. It's like at the office. Only I can see patients. Nobody else can see patients in there. I don't have another provider. So why am I got my, why do I have my nose and everything else? What we're printing, what's going on with the CPA? Well, I need to know that clearly, but you know, is the rent paid? Um, all the supplements ordered, all that. That's not, I mean, I can pay somebody to do those things. Delicate everything you can decrease the stress in your life. It's impossible. And I know that stress is bad right now. People have lost their jobs. I am very sensitive to that. I, I see that in my office every day, you know, so there's a whole lot of financial stress going on. But if you, what you can get rid of externally that you can get rid of, do it because stress creates inflammation. Stress lowers your immune system and builds up inflammation in your body. It's terrible for you, right? <sighs> breathe, just breathe right now. Just every single one of us. While you're watching, close your eyes. Well, you can't watch and close at the same time. Anyway, big deep breath. Once you sit up tall, breathe in for three, hold for three, and let it out for three. Do it one more time. If you just do that multiple times a day, it's unbelievable how your cortisol levels go down, your heart rate goes down, your voice goes down, your stress levels go down. And when that happens, the inflammation goes down in your body. We only use about 15% of our lung capacity. There's about 85% of these big, beautiful lungs left here that we don't use. So use them. Just big, big, deep breath. You start to get stressed out. Bring it in. Use the life force that God gave you. Okay. Those lungs are there for a reason. Do it. Okay. Also, decrease stress, right? Turn the TV off. Turn the news off, right? Listen to some podcasts. Watch some comedies, things like that. All the things you know to do. Laugh. Laugh. Get your friends on the phone. Zoom. It's hard. It's hard to Zoom. I don't like it. I don't like any of that. FaceTime your friends. I learned how to FaceTime a whole boot bunch of us at one time, right? Or four of us, I guess. Um, FaceTime your friends. Get online. You know, do the things that make you laugh. My neighborhood cookout that's right out that window, about 15 feet out there every Saturday. It's one of the funniest things I've ever done. And it's so funny because I wasn't here last week. They didn't do it. And something happened two weeks ago. I wasn't here. They didn't do the cookout. Somebody's got to be a ringleader. All right. Somebody's got to be the ringleader. Do it. Just do it. All right. Eat well, sleep well, move well, poop well, decrease stress, cultivate community year round. Get your people together. Even if we can't get together in person 
or if we're in little limited groups, get your people together. Make the effort to get your people together. All right. Pick up the phone. How about you call someone instead of text them? That works pretty well. Pick up the phone, right? Uh, FaceTime them, get on the computer, whatever you need to do. Also get your cards and letters out, right? You all sent my mom so many cards and letters and that made her so happy to get those cards and letters. Start writing, do some things like that. Just start laughing for crying out loud. We are so damn serious. It's not even funny. And, you know, just laugh. I mean, there are serious things going on out there, but you know what we can't control. Don't worry about it. Use your common sense, but then, you know, just have a good time. There's just something to be said for laughing and being lighthearted. There are serious things going on and we need to be serious about things, but, but, you know, laugh your community, your church group, your Bible study, whatever it is that you can do, get in a community. I am a huge believer that people heal when they have community. Jesus had a great community. They were dysfunctional, just like all of us, but he had a community and they actually had a community inside of his community, right? And it just kept getting tighter and tighter. But I'm a big believer in community. Eat well, sleep well, move well, poop well, decrease stress, cultivate community. Those six things we know help decrease inflammation in your body. Who knew? I didn't know when I started this job 10 years ago that, um, you know, what I, what I was doing and what I kind of developed in my own head was actually what needed to be done. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that those are my six things that I work on and it works. It works. It works. It works. Okay. What are we going to do supplement wise, all the things I have around here, you all can't see, but I have literally got 30 supplements. I hear people can't take all this, right? You can't take it, but we're going to break it down right now. This is going to come to where you're going to want to probably take notes and things like that. And then we're going to talk about what you all are doing as well. We want to build our immune system up before symptoms begin. Okay. We want to build our immune system up all year long so that when the symptoms start, they're either less severe or they don't even happen at all. They just kind of go around, right? Just go away. Keep your protein up. All right. We're going to start with, you're going to practice your six steps. And then we're going to start with what we know works with COVID-19, right? Which is D3, vitamin C, zinc, and acetylcysteine. We don't know a lot about COVID-19, but we're, we're talking COVID-19 because it's COVID-19 going on, but I'm talking full body immune system here just to help prevent you from anything that attacks us. Okay. Vitamin D3, right? We know that D3 deficiency is extremely common. I rarely check a patient's vitamin D3 and they have a normal D3 if they are not supplementing. So we know that the patients who do the best with COVID-19 are the ones that have a D3 level that are higher. The ones who go, who, who end up doing the worst have got very low D3 levels. So do everything in your power to bring your D3 level up. Okay. If getting in the sun was all it took, then all the surfers over in Hawaii, when we did all those big studies would not have vitamin D deficiencies. It's, it's way more than the sun. You're going to need to supplement D3. I almost hundred percent guarantee it for you. Right anywhere from a thousand international units up to 10,000 international units, short time, we short, short term for 10,000, right? So the average in my office is 5,000 international units a day with vitamin K27. And that's, you know, any good D3. Now I'm showing you what I have in my office. You all can use whatever you want. That's a good quality product. Okay. We know that lack of sun exposure lowers your D3, right? Advancing age lowers your D3. Who does COVID-19 hit the most advanced age? The darker your skin, the lower your D3. Corticosteroid use lowers D3. Steroid use, right? Chronic steroid use, right? They're all associated with lower vitamin D3 concentrations. We also know that a low D3, a deficiency in D3 is associated with a higher incidence of acute respiratory infections. Isn't that something? And it's also hypothesized that there is a link between seasonal influenza, the flu, 
and vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D supplementation has also been shown to decrease the risk of acute respiratory infections. So why not? That's an easy thing to take. We also use a D3 liquid, which is really easy to use. This is fabulous for kids, um, you know, your children, not the baby babies. It's, it's a thousand international units per drop. So if you're taking 5,000 IUs a day, I have patients shake it, <coughs> excuse me, put five drops right here and lick it off. It goes transdermal and then sublingual. Don't put it in your glass and then mix it with water because you're going to lose most of it on the rim and on the glass and things like that. So I'm a big fan of a D3 liquid. I know it works, but a D3 with K27 in it works beautifully. That's one of the big ones right there, D3. That's huge one for COVID-19, but also just building up your immune system. And then zinc, on average, 30 to 60 micrograms, or milligrams a day, I'm sorry, 30 to 60 uh, a day. Zinc is a big deal. Now, zinc we use with thyroid. It helps convert T4 to T3. It helps your thyroid work better. We know zinc is huge for your immune system. We've known this for years. We know that uh, raising your zinc levels up when you have a cold shortens the duration of your cold. Like these are things we know. I'm not making this stuff up. It's very important for your immune system. If you're taking 30 milligrams, 60 milligrams, even more than that for a short term, you need to balance it with some copper, about one milligram a day of copper. Now, this is the Phyto Multi that I use. This is the multivitamin I've used for years and years. Um, I think it's the best multi on the market. And it's also been shown to lower inflammation because it's got about it's got about eight servings of fruits and vegetables in here, phytonutrients. But it's got one milligram of copper in it which is fantastic because the higher your zinc doses, you could deplete your copper levels. And we don't want that. That'll cause other symptoms. But I'm a big fan of zinc. Zinc works great. Now, most people take it with food because it can create some nausea. So take your zinc with food. It also, it's interesting. It, it increases your antibodies. It increases your white blood cell production and it fights inflammation or infections in your body. Zinc deficiency increases inflammation and decreases the production of antibodies to fight off infections. So you need some zinc and people who are on birth control, they need zinc, right? <clears throat> Good Lord, I'm choked up. If you take proton pump inhibitors like Nexium or Prolisic, you deplete your zinc in your body. You've got to have some zinc. It's really important. Now the Phyto Multi has actually got 30 milligrams. No, no, I think it has 15 milligrams of zinc. Yeah, it has 15 milligrams of zinc in it. So if you took your mul a good multivitamin, always double check and see how much of all the nutrients are in it. So if I, <clears throat> what I do is I take this and this. So I'm actually getting uh, 45 milligrams of zinc a day with one milligram of copper in there. I'm covered. And then I've also got all the phytonutrients that I need right there. But zinc is a big deal. Zinc, we have research on. D3, we have research on. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. Holy cow. This is the same vitamin C I've taken since I was at Dr. Kalb's office. It works. It works. You need just basic, inexpensive ascorbic acid. Don't spend all the money on all the bioflavonoids and the rose hips and all that. The research shows ascorbic acid. Look up Linus Pauling. In fact, I think he won. I have to, I'm not sure. I think he won a Nobel Prize for his vitamin C research. We have studies on vitamin C and COVID-19 and there's more and more coming out. What we know, like up to six grams a day, so 6,000 milligrams a day. I take, I take, actually this is a thousand milligrams per two. So I usually take around three milligrams a day. I mean, yeah, three milligrams a day, 3,000 grams I take two in the morning, two at lunch, and two in the afternoon before I leave work. The only big side effect of vitamin C is diarrhea. So if you get diarrhea, back off a little bit. If you're constipated, man, ramp your vitamin C level up. C is an unbelievable antioxidant. It helps mop up free radicals, right? It helps decrease inflammation. We also know they've, they've, they've done some studies on patients in the hospital with COVID. They're doing IV vitamin C, like six grams every two hours. I think that's what some of the studies were. 
um, that I was reading. I've got, got those there. But <clears throat> vitamin C improves the immune system. It's real simple and it's inexpensive. C is. And like I said, we use this one, but you can use basically any vitamin C you want. That's a good C. I mean, a lot of vitamin C comes from China, so you have to be real careful with that. But, you know, get you a good, inexpensive, clean vitamin C. You know, we've studied birds. There's been some bird studies that show that vitamin C protects against the avian coronavirus infection with human trials, finding that vitamin C may decrease susceptibility to viral respiratory infections and pneumonia. I mean, good Lord, it's easy. Vitamin D, zinc, vitamin C, right? We had a new clinical trial, or there's some trials going on in China right now and the United States to determine you know, just how effective it is for COVID-19. But we know we're already seeing that it is extremely effective. And then in acetylcysteine. So we know that D3, vitamin C, um, zinc, and in acetylcysteine have got unbelievable benefits for decreasing inflammation in your body. Okay. Here, I'm going to turn that off right there. For a second, so it's not um, um, sidetracking you guys, right? Okay, N acetylcysteine, 900 milligrams twice a day is the average dose. This is not one capsule is 900 milligrams, and what we recommend is one of these twice a day. So you know that N acetylcysteine is an anti inflammatory, but it's a precursor to glutathione. So it makes glutathione and it's the master antioxidant in your body. It's the one that mops up all the free radicals. It's the mother dog of antioxidants, glutathione is. And acetylcysteine converts to glutathione in your body, right? It's an antioxidant that is depleted due to oxidative stress or systemic inflammation, right? Glutathione is. Um, and so chronic inflammation lowers your glutathione levels, right? Oxidative stress lowers your glutathione levels. Glutathione or N acetylcysteine is about a third of the cost of glutathione. Glutathione is $65 a month. It's expensive. Now it works and it works beautifully. And you have to be real careful when you buy glutathione. You've got to buy one that, that actually works and is lipophilic and it'll get into the cells, right? N acetylcysteine, though, has had some studies on it and it is a, an amazing anti inflammatory. It's got anti-inflammatory effects, antioxidant effects, and a number of pulmonary diseases some studies have shown, including viral pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome, which is ARDS, which is like solid white out inflammation of the lungs. And you, you have a very low chance of survival once you go down that path. Um, because COVID-19 patients have... Um, uh, evidence of systemic inflammation, right, all over the body. They often have their course complicated by acute respiratory distress syndrome. So, and that is true. That's when the lungs collapse and the lungs fill up. So, and, you know, that's the mucus and all that. N acetylcysteine helps with that mucus production, less mucus. It's fascinating to me. They're also using it um, um, nebulized. So, in a nebulizer breathing it in, you know, um, in acetylcysteine. So it may be beneficial to many patient populations, but it's also one of the things that I use. It helps with the liver, helps with the liver detox. So I use a lot of N acetylcysteine in the office to raise glutathione levels, to help decrease oxidative stress in your body. It's one of the best one, um, one of the best ones. So vitamin D3, zinc, vitamin C, and N acetyl in acetylcysteine. Those are the basics right there. Those are the things that we can do right now to increase your immune system, right? To help build your immune system up. If you all watched the Sunday night service with Karan Krishna from, Megaspor, from Microbiome Labs, who makes Megaspore, we know what the research shows for probiotics and prebiotics, building up your immune system and decreasing oxidative stress in your body. A good probiotic, a good prebiotic will enhance antiviral immunity by creating the gut microbiome that stimulates our immune system. 
Dr. Leo Galland, and he's, I think he's drleogalland.com, G-A-L-L-A-N-D. I'll put it up here. Drleogalland.com has got all kinds of information on this on his website, as do microbiome labs on the power of probiotics, um, decreasing the inflammation in your body and raising up your immune system. Prebiotics with the best, have the best evidence for immune stimulation, um, in your body. So the prebiotics, which I don't have right here, I forgot and left them in the cabinet in there. Prebiotics, you want ones that have like uh, beta glucans, large, oh, what all do we need in it? I can never remember all the things. Beta glucans, um, galacto oligosaccharides, things like that. And they're usually in a powder, your prebiotics are. And you mix those up and drink them. And prebiotics prepare your gut for the probiotics, okay? And they help the probiotics work a lot better. I'm going to tell you, Megaspore is probably my all-time favorite. I love Theralac as well, but spore bases we know are phenomenal for your immune system. But this one right now for me is winning out over every single one of them. And this is from Biocidin, which the 30th, the naturopath doctor who, who is the big one for, on education for biobotanical labs is going to be on here talking about their products and your immune system. This is a spore-based probiotic, just like Megaspore, bacillus-based, but it also has in it quercetin, marshmallow, and aloe, which all three of those, right, help decrease inflammation and build your immune system up. This one with the quercetin, which we've got studies now on quercetin lowering inflammation in your body. This one uses a patented form of quercetin, QU995, which provides 170 times better absorption in the gut. I'm loving this probiotic. This is an amazing probiotic if you have allergies, if you have seasonal allergies, because we know that quercetin dampens down your immune system, dampens down the inflammation and um, decreases the inflammatory response like to allergies. Quercetin, of course, is found in, well, we're going to talk about quercetin here. Well, actually, I, we can talk about it right now. Onions, apples, many other fruits have quercetin in them, like the skin of the onion. If you'll just barely peel off that little bit of layer, uh, like I chopped onions this afternoon and I just peeled off the, the skin part or that the thin thing. And then all of that is loaded with quercetin. Quercetin brings down the inflammation in your body. And it, where it's being studied right now in China, actually, as a drug treatment for COVID-19 based on some, some research that was out of the McGill University. Um, 500 milligrams twice a day is what has been studied and it acts, it's a bioflavonoid. So it decreases inflammation. Now there's many things that have quercetin in it. Okay. So your probiotics, your vitamin D, your zinc, vitamin C, N-acetylcysteine, your probiotics, right? And so we just happen to have a probiotic that's got some amazing quercetin in it. And then of course, marshmallow and aloe, which also helps with digestion and lowering inflammation. But quercetin, I don't sell single by itself quercetin in the office because we have two amazing, we have three now, but two amazing products that have high dose quercetin in it. A and I, for those of you that know me, know I've used this for 10 years for allergies. I had no idea this was going to be a game changer and really protective for people's immune system during this season with COVID-19. Um, quercetin, of course, is great for allergies, but A and I has got N -acetyl, 50 milligrams of N-acetylcysteine, bromelain, stinging nettle, 400 milligrams of quercetin, and then it's got 300 milligrams of vitamin C in it. This is one of the best things that I have ever used. I use this every year for allergies. I use it in the spring and I use it in the fall. I've been using this pretty much every day right now during, during this season. This, get, this is a game changer. This is actually dehist orthomolecular, which is a lot more expensive than ours, which is $40. It's the exact same product. They just private label it. Orthomolecular does um, exact same product if you look at the back of it. But this has been around for a very, very long time. People come from all over to get this. This is unbelievable for inflammation in your body. But Metagenics has a brand new product out that has quercetin in it. And it also has EGCG in it, which is a green tea extract. Amazing for inflammation. It has N-acetylcysteine in it. 
This one has 600 milligrams of N-acetylcysteine and vitamin C. It's called Immune Active, and it is phenomenal. I've been trying it. This is my bottle right here. It's just two capsules, and, you know, it's a little bit, it's uh, kind of yellow. So there's multiple ways to get in the quercetin. I don't, like I said, I don't do it by itself. You're welcome to do it. But I kind of, I like to kind of mix things that have a lot of high powered punch to them. So we got a probiotic with it. We have two different immune things with quercetin in it as well. But quercetin, for those of you that have allergies that struggle with seasonal allergies, it's one of the best things you can do. So what are some other things you can do to improve your immune system? Mushrooms. Now, I don't sell mushrooms in the office. I probably should. I don't. The only thing that we do in the office is we use Myco Pure from Metagen. I mean, I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Denise from Designs for Health. Um, Myco Pure, which is a shiitake mushroom protein shake. And you talk about tasting good. If you guys live locally, this Thursday at 1230, Denise will be there. Um, we're testing. We're sampling to the public. Myco Pure, the shiitake immune building protein shake, as well as their paleo pure, which is phenomenal, which has nothing to do with your immune system right now. But mushrooms, right? They are anti-inflammatory. They have been for thousands of years. They are well documented to boost your immune system. I mean, we don't have any, I mean, we can't argue with the power of mushrooms, right? Best to take in anticipation of COVID-19, right? Or flu season. Mushrooms take time to build up in your system, okay? Whereas things like vitamin C and zinc and D3. Well, D3 takes a while to build up as well, okay? So mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. Metagenics makes a fabulous product. And I think it's called Myco, Mycotaki or something like that. We used to sell it, but we don't anymore. Um, it's phenomenal mushroom as well. So there, there's some good host defense is my favorite company who makes mushrooms out there. Good mushroom uh, supplements. They do a really great job. We just don't have them in the office. But um, mushrooms are another way to build your immune system up. And then, of course, melatonin. If you didn't watch last Saturday night or Sunday night, melatonin, one of the best you can do right here. It's an anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antioxidant. It's phenomenal for sleep, right? and for building your immune system up. And I ordered in so much melatonin, you guys who live locally, and we have it on our store, but um, oh my goodness. And then I got in a zero sugar melatonin right here. And I'm going to have to open this one because I spilled um, elderberry all over it. So I guess I'll take it. But everything from 0.5 milligrams on up to five milligrams sustained release. 0.5 milligrams, we have, we know decreases inflammation in your body, just a standard dose of 0.5 milligrams every night. Now, melatonin, like, I mean, they're giving 40, 50, 60 milligrams, things like that. I don't, I don't do that, but we know that it's amazing for your immune system. Even if you're just taking it to help you sleep, it helps build your immune system up. So it helps decrease inflammation. It boosts T helper cells, boosts the immune pathway, all the things that it does. And it's an amazing antioxidant as is elderberry. Okay. Elderberries. One of, I love elderberry. We have a ton of research on elderberry and flu and influenza. Now we use brother's health food. I love theirs. It's organic. It's great. They do a great job. There's a little elderberry right there. I just spilled it all down my face. Good Lord. How in the world you can miss a mouth this big, I'll never know. But anyway, elderberry is an amazing anti-inflammatory. And I use this. The kids can take it. The adults can take it. I don't take it year round. I don't think that personally, I don't think there's any reason to take it all year long. But starting this time of year, getting back in school, uh, fall coming, I'm a big fan of elderberry. And everybody's elderberry is different. So there's all different. That's a tablespoon which probably need to take more because I've just took a bath in it. Um, but it decreases inflammation, right? And it builds up your immune system. Elderberry does. And we know that if you take it, if you get the flu, it's short. We've got research on this. It shortens the duration of the flu. Curcumin, turmeric, those are things that are anti-inflammatory. And they work on those ACE2 pathways, which the angiotensin uh, enzyme pathways that COVID-19 hit, Turmeric and curcumin help to bring down the inflammation in those pathways and just full body antioxidant 
anti-inflammatory. I take I take curcumin just because I have lupus and it and it my joints hurt oftentimes. So I take it for that. But curcumin's a great thing. Fish oil. Fish oil is anti-inflammatory, right? Two grams up to four grams. I just listened to Dr. Galland on Dr. Bergston's um, podcast yesterday talk about fish oil and the power of fish oil and how it's an anti-inflammatory. And you just want to make sure you have a really great fish oil, right? One that we know is clean and comes from deep water, not farm fish, things like that. At least two grams a day. Ours is 2.5 grams a day or for two capsules. You could take more. You could take six grams a day if you needed to, if you got sick. So, but that's a good one for an anti-inflammatory. I'm a big believer that people need the best multivitamin money can buy, the best vitamin D3, the best fish oil, and the best probiotic. Those four things right there will help decrease inflammation and build your immune system up better than anything. Those are my four basics that I do. And then other things. Now, right now we're all throwing the bus at, uh, at everything, just trying to decrease our, our inflammation, right? And increase our immune system. Reservatrol, right? Reservatrol. I don't sell Reservatrol by itself. Dr. Deering does. You know, that's found in the skin of grapes. And it, again, decreases inflammation and it makes you more ACE receptor resilient, okay? Uh, fish oil, a neti pot, right? This is another way to uh, decrease inflammation. Or if you get sick, a neti pot. I don't. I left mine in the closet in there. But a neti pot you fill up with sterile water or what have you and, you know, salt water or whatever you're doing. And it just goes in one nostril and out the other. It's another way to decrease the mucous membranes in here and to clean out this. Because remember, COVID-19 is a mucus, is a respiratory problem. I'm a big fan. We don't have any research on this, but I'm a big fan of colloidal silver nasal spray. Now also to drink it and to take it. But again, you know, that's controversial too. But these are back in stock and they were out forever from April, no, from May to August. They were out. Nasal spray. I just spray a couple sprays twice a day in my nose. I don't do it often, but if I get sick, I really do it. Um, but Colloidal silver is antiviral, antibacterial. I use it all the time. Biocidin throat spray. Okay. This is antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral. This stays in my purse 24 7. I keep it at the office in between patients. I just spray it in the back of my throat. If I go to the grocery, if I go anywhere, I am spraying this in my throat. This is one, of, and Dr. Um, Jocelyn, I can't think of her name, Jocelyn, oh, her last name. She'll be talking all about this on the 30th. But this right here is $24 or something, and it is phenomenal. If you know anything about biocide and it's herbal medicine, but it absolutely kills everything and helps bring your immune system up. Okay. Bone broth, bone broth. We talk about bone broth. Bone broth is a big one to decrease inflammation in your body to help build your immune system up. It puts all those nutrients in there from the bones and the collagen and the things that help to dampen down your immune system. Low dose naltrexone. For those of you that are on LDN, we're seeing some preliminary studies, some, some preliminary chatter out there in the world that low dose naltrexone, those patients that take low dose naltrexone every day, I've taken it for eight years. Many of them are not getting diagnosed with COVID-19 because what is low dose naltrexone? It's an anti-inflammatory. And um, I listened to a doctor on a podcast today. He said he had 22 patients on LDN. Not a single one of them has had COVID-19 at all. Um, it's, it's phenomenal. And if you're not on low dose naltrexone, if you don't know anything about LDN, I have a podcast, I mean, a Sunday night service on that. You can go find it. But I think for those of us that are on it, I'm grateful and I won't stop it. Don't stop your LDN if you're on it for crying out loud. What are we going to do for our kids? Well, the same thing that I just talked about, but for your kids, of course, you want to get them on an age appropriate probiotic, right? a baby probiotic. That's a little liquid one for babies. It's just got a little bit of uh, lactobacillus in it and bifidobacteria, just a little baby probiotic. When we'll start those babies off, right? Even though this is just in general to build their immune system up. So they don't have to take this every day. Give it to them three or four times a week. 
a chewable probiotic for the older ones. We want the kids on a probiotic, fish oil for sure for the children because their brains need that DHA, right? Not DHEA, DHA, their brains do it. Little liquid fish oil. Here's my all time favorite from uh, Designs for Health. It's a liquid and oh my gosh, it tastes absolutely amazing. This is mango peach right here. Give them a little fish oil and a multivitamin, okay? A multivitamin, some fish oil, a little D3, a probiotic. If they can't chew a pill for whatever reason or whatever, you know, there's powdered ones out there, Theralac, which is great. And again, get their immune system built up by feeding them real food. Your kids are not going to be able to be healthy and fight off the things that come to them if you're feeding them uh, Chick-fil-A and food out of a drive through and food out of a box and, you know, Eggo or even if it's Vans, gluten-free waffles, you know, they're not going to be able to fight off what's coming to them. You've got to feed them real food. If they don't take a vitamin, if they don't chew anything or what have you, or they just don't want to, put a patch on them. Put a put an immune patch on them. Put an antiviral patch. Put a put a patch on them for crying out loud. They work great. And patients love them. But that's you know, they need the same lifestyle things that we do. Your kids do. Starting back to school, they've got to eat well. They have to sleep well. They've got to move. They've got to poop. They need to decrease the stress as well, right? And they need community. They need their friends. It's just the same. It's all the same. Um, these are the ways that we build our immune system up. Okay. Real simple. Now I'm going to try to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to try to show you this and you're going to need to take a picture of it to, and this is what, this is the protocol right here. I'm going to, I'm going to attempt this. So bear with me over here. Here we go. Right. Okay. I don't know if I talked to you about sauna, but Oh, it's not there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hide that booger. Hide it. Let me go right over here to the screen. Where, where, oh, where? Oh my gosh, it's not up here. It's been up here the whole stinking time. And now it's not there. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, I'm going to share it right now. Right here. Is that it? Can you all see it? If you can see it, tell me you can. Um, I think you can, if you can. Right there is what I would recommend. Oh, I'm getting fancy over here. Um, let me see if I can find it while y'all are, while you all are. Do, do, do. There we go. Vitamin C. So sauna, right? Sweat. Sauna, sauna, sauna. Doesn't matter what you're in, what you're doing. Just sweat, okay? I don't care if you're in an infrared. I don't care if you're at the YMCA. I don't even know if their sauna is open again. Or Lifetime, just sweat. We've got to sweat. It's going to help with your immune system, right? Deep breathing. Build your lungs up. Everything we can to get our lungs strong, especially for COVID. But, but during flu season as well, right? There's the protocol. Take a picture of that right there. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it. here. There we go. Um, let me hide this one. You guys are wonderful. It's already been 53 minutes, but the thing is, you know, this is going to, something new is going to come around every single year, right? This is just the beginning of God only knows what's out there. So just build your immune system up day in, day out, every single day. Okay. That's what we have to do. Um, oh, Guess who's coming on August 23rd? Shondi. 
Remember Shondi when we did one ingredient cooking? She lives in Montana. She just texted me and said, yes, let's do August 23rd. So we're both in sync. Okay, perfect. We're going to talk about fermentation on, October, on August 23rd with her. I am so excited. Sorry, I got sidetracked there. All right. And what else are you going to do to protect your immune system, right? Well, if you need to stay home, stay home, just stay home. I know we've been staying home since March. I've done very little. I've done some things, but very little. Stay home, right? Wash your hands. That's common sense. Wash your hands. Clean your doorknobs. Clean, you know, your countertops. All the things that you all already know about, but use common sense. If, you, if you're in the mask family and you want to wear your mask, wear your mask. If you don't want to wear your mask, then don't wear your mask. I mean, I'm not going to get into a pissing match with anybody over any of this, right? I'm wearing my mask now, you know, and I really kind of shifted on this. I was not against it. I just didn't understand it initially. I don't know that it's the end all be all, but what I do know is it's not hurting me. And if it's protecting you or it's protecting me from you, well, there you go. Then I'm going to wear my mask. And what if I'm right? I don't know. What if they're right? What if it really is protective? You know, it's kind of like, the Bible. Some people, you know, say, oh, well, it's just about, I don't know, it's about stories and how do you believe and all that mess? Well, you know, what if I'm right? What if I end up in heaven? I don't know. Um, I'm just not going to argue about the mask thing, but it is, it is something that, you know, I'm wearing and I feel okay with it. I don't know. I bought me a little black mask and I like it. It's fine. Um, all right, guys, what are you all saying? Um, yes, there's an Apple watch. Um, Yes, that says breathe and all that good stuff. Uh, that's for sure. What are y'all saying here? I haven't. Um, oh, yeah. Melatonin. We talked all about melatonin last week. Let me see here. Making more of our own melatonin when taking electrons off. Yes. Yes, we should, Stacy. But many people don't because we've spent so many years destroying the melatonin. And if you watched Sunday night service last week with an expert on melatonin, you would know that um, we're not making it like we used to. We're not going to get immune to it. It's not taking it. It's not going to depress our melatonin production either. And the benefits far outweigh the risks of melatonin. Um, and most people can tolerate melatonin. Now, not everybody. A lot of people who don't tolerate melatonin are the people who have real vivid dreams and melatonin can enhance that. So if you'll watch Sunday night service last week, it was absolutely amazing. She's actually coming back next week. Yes, you bet. Um, electronics off and all of that. Um, yes. Well, I put that picture up there for all of you to take a picture of. I hope you did. If you did not, here it is right here. So take a picture of it. I'll make it full screen. in the bottle. It's as simple as that. All right, guys, I sure do appreciate you all. Listen to this. Next week, Dr. Berkson will be back. She'll be back and she's going to be talking about the Women's Health Initiative and estrogen and things like that. I'm going to see if I can get her to talk about the power of oxytocin, the love hormone. She is a true expert on oxytocin. And so, um, I, I I hope so. That's next Sunday night. And then the Sunday after that is going to be Sean D from cooking. Uh, Show me healthy cooking. Show me healthy living with Sean D. And we're going to be talking fermentation and she's going to be showing us for how to ferment things and to create that lactobacillus and all the things that you need are, you know, the great probiotics naturally and how to do it. I'm so excited. She just confirmed it. So that's going to be great. And then the 30th is going to be Dr. Jocelyn. Ah, um, and I don't know her last name. I can't, I'm sorry, but from Biosiden and that company is unbelievable. So we are, we are talking the whole month of August about immune system and how to build your immune system up because I think it's important and it's actually the foundation of everything that I do. Um, 
the six this week at the office, we have our six steps to healing class. If you live locally, 1.30 on Thursday afternoon, you pay online. It's on dannywilliamson.com. You go over there to classes and you can sign up online. I think there's already six or seven in it and we're limiting it to, to 10, I think, because of we have to space everybody out. Um, this Thursday, we have a tasting also in the office at 12.30 with uh, Designs for Health, tasting this, this mushroom shake right here right there, as well as several other things that they do. We're going to taste some of their bars and their paleo shake, which is phenomenal. I, I It's it's absolutely amazing. August the 21st, those of you that live in Western Kentucky, Southern Illinois, Missouri, that I'll be teaching again in Gilbertsville, Kentucky on building your immune system. And this is actually a PowerPoint presentation that I'll be doing. It'll be a little bit different than this. And it's at a centered space and I have it. It's under events on our page, a centered space. If you want to go, you can sign up for that. That's August 21st. And if you don't get our newsletter, you missed a really good newsletter this week. I sent out, I had the link to Dr. Berkson's melatonin. You need to go to dannywilliamson.com. You need to sign up for the newsletter because I always put the videos in there and stuff. And somebody this month, if you don't get our newsletter, somebody this month wins a free bottle of CBD on the last day of August. We will do the drawing. OK, the book is almost finished. Daggone it. I was going to show you all for crying out loud. I went today to Office Depot and picked up um, uh, one of the chapters, at how it is exactly laid out and everything. And it is so beautifully done. You guys are going to love the book. I need prayers. I need prayers, 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 because COVID-19 has completely destroyed everything I planned on doing PR wise and all that. So we need prayers for um, um, a favor and, and all of that. OK, uh, one other thing. Thank you, guys. These are when I sent this newsletter out probably a month ago on not on kind of struggling with depression and a little bit. Well, it's not quite a month ago. I got so many replies. These are, these are not even all of them. These are messages from you all that came to the office and Allie printed them off for me and they are beautiful. And I love you guys more than you'll ever know. And I appreciate you all. And I just wanted to let you all know for in that newsletter that we all struggle sometimes. And I just happen to be in that season as well. I'm doing the best I can, but you know, it's hard some days and the whole thing is hard. The whole stinking thing is hard. But just to read your letters, and I read every single one of them. I didn't reply. I just didn't reply. But I just know that I have these printed, and these are staying close to my heart because you guys are the real deal. And I love every single one of you. And we're all just human here trying to get through. And, you know, I probably showed, I don't know, I bet there's $1,000 worth of supplements sitting here. You all didn't even see part of them. You can't do that. Do the best you can, right? If you can't afford to buy supplements, then eat a clean diet. Eat a simple anti-inflammatory diet. If you don't know what that is, Google it up, just like everybody else would have to, an anti-inflammatory diet, okay? But I'm just telling you guys, we're all in this together, and your body is wonderfully and beautifully made, and it is strong. It is stronger than you think it is. You are stronger than you think you are. And you are a child of the most high King. I'm telling you right now. And if you think you're broken, you are sadly mistaken. You're not broken. You weren't born broken. You are not broken. You never were broken. You may have hit a bump in the road like I have the last couple of months, but you know, you get up and you keep moving forward. You have two choices. You lay down and die or you get up and you just press forward. And I've chosen to just press forward even though it's not fun, but you're not broken. I just want you all to know that you're not your past. You are not any of that. You are not broken. Everything that's happened, you can turn it around. All right. Bad things happen to good people and I'm overdue. I'm sorry. It's 64 minutes. Ah, I keep talking. All right, my friends, next week, I'll see you back here six o'clock. If you need anything, just let us know. And Julie, I love you. I love you. I love you. You guys are absolutely fantastic. And I love you too, Chelsea. This woman has an amazing condo down in Florida that I stayed at and just hunkered in right there in Fort Walton and Okaloosa Island. So 
If you guys need a place to stay, you need to reach out to her because she has a beautiful condo on the beach. All right, guys, we love you. And Elizabeth, I love you too. And praying for you. And I hope that everyone just gets out there and makes this week the best you can and get over there and meal prep a little bit right now. All right. And get ready for the week because uh, it's here for we know it. All right. Love you guys. Appreciate you.